Hey there, it's Brianna with Wellness Stock Shop, and I want to just jump in and address an issue that I am seeing and hearing a lot of, and that is, are your photos actually turning out a little bit blurry or fuzzy when you post them on social media? Maybe they look really crisp and clear, until you post them there and you just can't figure out what's going on. So there is typically an issue with the sizing when this happens. And um, I'm just gonna jump over and show you an example. So here, can you see the difference in these two images? These are professional photos taken from Wellness Stock Shop and the original image is totally crisp and clear and these are two different posts that I made on Facebook. And if you look at this left, le the one on the left, you'll see it's really fuzzy and blurry. It really does not look crisp at all. And the one on the right looks a lot more crisp and clear. So there are two different things to consider with the sizing that you're posting. One is, what is the size of the actual image that you're posting? And the other is, what is the size of the design that you're creating? So if you're just taking a photo and posting it, you need to know the size of the photo. But if you're actually using that photo in a design, perhaps in Canva, then you need to consider what's the size of the photo and what is the size of that design that you're creating. So let's go ahead and jump over and I wanna show you a tool to start out. So there's gonna be a few things that I'm gonna show you some tips here. So first, we are in the Wellness Stock Shop Photo Store and you may have seen me point this out before but if you go down to FAQ and then you see um, how do I know which file size is best to download? If you click on that, you'll see at the bottom there's a little um, option for a social media sizing guide. This is so essential to know these sizes that are correct to post on social media now. So this was all updated for 2016. So Facebook and Instagram have changed their sizes many times and after Instagram was purchased by Facebook it was changed again this year so this is a quick reference guide that you can go down so if you're gonna go and post um, an image on Facebook um, then you want to go down here and check out what size is best to use and this will pertain to the actual photo you use as well as the design you create you have to keep this in mind for both so say it's a shared image it needs to be 1200 by 63. And if you go down to Instagram, it majorly changed. It used to be 800 and some. Now it's 1080 by 1080. And this is especially essential to know because if you use Canva for your designs, you may actually just be using this social media size, which is a square, and you just assume, oh, well, this is for Instagram, but look at the size, 800 by 800, it's still the old size. So what we wanna do is create a size template specific to the size that's best on Instagram. So let's go ahead and do use custom dimensions. Then we can say 1080, by 1080. Make sure that you are doing this if you are resizing your um, images here in Canva. Maybe you're creating a meme or you know some sort of an announcement. Make sure that you're using 1080 by 1080. You can always recheck the guide. So if we hit design, now we're all set to go and we can choose an image to use and I'll head over to Wellness Stock Shop, and this is the next thing that you need to know about. If we're going um, to grab an image, say, of food, and um, we want to use it on a 1080 by 1080 template, we need to make sure that the image also matches that size. So I already am signed in with my membership. You'll see that the small is a 700 resolution. That would have been fine for the old sizes on Instagram, but it's not anymore because what's really weird is Facebook and Instagram 
require a larger size and then they shrink it down. It's totally confusing. Don't even worry about that, but it's really bizarre. You just need to con just consider which size they're requiring. So if we go with 1600 resolution, that will fit. That'll be more than enough for the 1080 by 1080. So let's go ahead and download this. And um, I also want to download the small size because I'm going to show you the difference, how this turns out. So we've got the 700 and we've got the 1600. So let's go ahead back here. It's the 1080 size. So we're going to go upload and let's upload the two different images. So here they are. And um, so you'll see that I have them, they look the same, so you can't tell which size they are. So what I normally do is I will go and look at the little I button for information on it, and it doesn't allow you to do that until you refresh the page. So I'm going to refresh, refresh the page. Go back to uploads. Now I can see. So that's number two. That's the second one we downloaded, so that's the small one. This is the first one we downloaded, so this is the big one. So let's go ahead and use the big one. Stretch it out to fit here. Make sure we've got it all covered. Okay, now I'm just gonna download it as a JPEG. So we've got that first one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to Canva and show you what it would be if we used this social media size image and we used the small one. So this will give you a good idea if you're playing with sizes and you're getting the wrong sizes of either the template or the image, what is going to happen. So I'm gonna download that. Those will be in my downloads. And then I'm gonna go ahead over to the Wellness Stock Shop Facebook page and I'm just gonna upload these images real quick so that you can see what this is looking like. Okay, so I have loaded them into Facebook and now let's go ahead and take a closer look. Here it looks nice and crisp and that looks really soft and blurry. Okay, so now you know there is a major difference in the sizing. Make sure that you use that social media sizing guide in Wellness Stock Shop. Um, to really know what size image you'll need to use and what size template you'll want to be using. This could solve a lot of your issues and this goes for Instagram as well. If you post the wrong size, it's really going to look blurry. So you want to make sure that your images are crisp and clear, especially if you're posting food images over anything else. So the other issue is is the image that you're using actually blurry, then there's no way to fix that. But if you're using professional images and you know they're crisp and clear to start with, make sure that you're using this um, guide to make sure that your images turn out beautiful and crisp and clear just like they should. And I hope this helped you out. And if you need any more answers, if you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments, like and share this. Thank you so much.